This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The time for fun and games is over as Team Bahamas gets set to open up competition on Friday at the IAAF World Championships. Charles Fisher has an update from London. Two days to the start of the IAAF World Track and Field Championships here in London, England. Our team getting a workout early this morning under severe conditions. A bit cold compared to Bahamas weather, but they were relaxed and ready to go. The first workout was um a good experience for the, the athletes. It's a little nippy today, cool, cool and usual, but we did a, a just a little shake out for some persons, and some persons came to stretch and just get accustomed to the warm up area. Some persons went inside the stadium, uh, the competition stadium, and they were able to do some things there, so we had a good time this morning. This is rather affecting us a little bit? No, it's a little nippy, a little cool, but you know, we are uh, just dressed appropriately and we should be okay. What's the mentality of the team now as we can set the start competition up for They're ready, they rested. Um, we traveled yesterday, they rested the entire day. Had a good night's sleep last night. I checked with everybody and I said, like, How do you sleep? They did pretty good. We had a good breakfast, we had a meeting this morning. And um, I think they're in good spirits. Sprinter Tania Gaither also here, and she's ready to rock and roll. Today was just a light shake out day. I just wanted to go out there, get my legs flowing, get my blood flowing, um, and then hit things again tomorrow. This is my first time here. I'm loving how everything looks. Um, I think it's going to be a great environment to do what I want to do. Hurtler Devin Charlton also working out with the Kinks. She's here for the first time, and guess what? She's ready to rock and roll as well. I just had an easy day, um, just a couple tempo stuff on the turn, um, just to shake my body out from the plane right yesterday. Happy to be after last year? Yeah, I am happy um, to finally um, get to an opportunity to represent my country. Yeah. So the Bahamian athletes getting climatized to the weather here in London, England, with the exception of Donald Thomas, Michael Martin, Shaquanya Dorset, and Christian Amatil, who will arrive in Thursday morning. They should be here in time for competition on Friday. On behalf of my cameraman Robert Johnson here in London, England, thanks to Island Luck and ZNS Network for providing us with the necessary funds for being here. We have all from London over the next 13 days. On to some tennis news now. Justin Roberts back on the red clay earlier today at the Amaris Open in Finland. Just like in his opening round singles match the day before, this one also going the three-set distance. This time around, though, Roberts had to battle back from a set down, but the result much the same. Roberts wins over his doubles partner, American Tom Fawcett, 2-6, 6-4, and 6-3 to move into the quarterfinals. From the minor league baseball diamond on Tuesday, Lucius Fox won for three the stolen base, an RBI, and a run scored for Charlotte in a 6-1 win over St. Lucie. Anthony Seymour also won for three the stolen base. Florida fell to Dunedin 4-1. Our under-18 girls central basket team getting ready for competition later on this month in Puerto Rico. As for what the emphasis is right now. Defense. That's, that's going to be the key. Uh, defense. Defense is going to win it. Win it all. We have offensive girls who could score the basket. But as long as we could stop somebody and play defense, I guarantee we come back with a medal. On the 7th boys, their problem was finishing strong in the fourth quarter. Uh, the youth shared a concern for these girls. You believe they... Uh, will be able to finish strong? Well, I believe they can, but um, what we have to do is um, put inside their heads that it's going to be, it's going to come down to that. And like I always tell them in practice, this is the fourth quarter, especially when they're tired, I say it's the fourth quarter, it's time to push. Because when you get down to the fourth quarter and you down, you got to have some energy, some life to move forward and try to get over that hill. The Bahamas Basketball Federation Summer of Thunder Series will get underway on Friday at the Kendall Isaacs Gym. The opening game at 7 will see the Bahamas All-Stars up against Nickel State. From there, a trio of games on tap for Sunday. At 2 p.m., Penn State will take on the MPBA All-Stars. That's followed at 4 by IBA Elite and Nickel State. Then at 6, the CTG Knights will go up against Southern University. The Rollville Class C Regatta on tap for this coming Emancipation Holiday Weekend. And this one will be a milestone celebrating 75 years. Roeville is certainly considered one of the oldest regatta uh, in, in the Bahamas, uh, behind the Mangrove Key Regatta, which started a couple years before them. But history has it uh, together that Roeville is the oldest regatta in Exuma. 
Most people believe that it's the national family island regard. It certainly is not. Um, Roville was, was sailing long before um, Georgetown really came together. And so we, we, we really ought to give them their props uh, to be lasting this long uh, with the kind of professionalism that they bring to sailing. Uh, we ought to take our hats off to them. We expect uh, Ocean Race to start off the sailing on Saturday. So on Saturday morning, um, between 9 and 10 o'clock, we'll get the Ocean Race underway. Um, that's pretty long, so about two and a half hours uh, sailing. And then we'll have our first points race in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon. And then on Monday, we have uh, the two final races as far as the points are concerned. And all of our races this year are cup races. So we expect this year uh, to be the largest uh, ever as far as prize money to be distributed amongst the sailors. So we expect our sailors to be extremely happy. And for those guys who didn't make it this year, particularly uh, some of the crybabies from Long Island, uh, sacrifice, uh, Witty K, you guys missing it this year. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.